In order to get started on this project, you're only going to need a few materials. First, you need a pair of chucks, and they can be high top or low top. And next, you need a pack of fabric glue. This is called a Lens Fabric Tacky Pack, and I got it from Michaels for like $6. It's really good because it has this little bottle called Jewel It, which is really good for embellishing with rhinestones. And it also has this fabric no so glue for sticking things onto the fabric of the chucks. In order to pick up the rhinestones, you'll just need a pair of tweezers. And in order to spread the glue, you'll just need a Q-tip. Now for the rhinestones, I use a mixture of pearl cappuccinos. You can also get these at Michael's. They come on a little sheet like this, and all you have to do is just peel them up, and they stick. But you're actually going to end up sticking some glue on the back of that. And since we're making Barbie chucks, um, I just kind of stuck with a palette of hot pink, light pink, lavender, and clear rhinestones. And you can get all the materials that you need either online or you can get them from Michaels for a really good price. This one is really good by Michaels. It's called Recollections. And it has rhinestones in all different sizes, which is really good because you're going to need some of these small rhinestones in order to fill in the small gaps of your chest. I'm going to show you how to finish up these chucks that I already started. First, I'm just going to take my Q-tip and I already have the jewelry glue on there. And I'm just going to spread it carefully on the area of the chuck. And you're not going to do the whole chuck so it won't dry. So just do a little area like that. And then using my tweezers, I am going to pick up the rhinestones and then just place them on the area like that and this is where the little ones come in handy because you see all those spaces so next I'm going to take another one and just stick it down now I'm just going to show you how to fill in some of the smaller areas I'm going to take my q-tip that I have filled with the jewelry glue and I'm just going to lightly press down in the areas that I still need to apply the rhinestones. I'm going to take the tweezers, pick up the rhinestones, and then position them lightly like that. And then you can just go around the entire shoe and fill in any areas that still need to be filled in that have like little gaps. Okay, so after you have blinged your chucks out, with the rhinestones and the pearls, the last step I did was add a Barbie cabochon on the shoelaces. So I'm going to use the fabric no so glue. And right here in the front shoelace, I'm just going to add a generous amount of it like that. And then I have my flat back cabochon. And I'm just going to stick it on the shoelace like that. And then I'll just need to sit it down and let it sit. 